there's a new feature in Photoshop 221 that you may not even find unless you're really looking for it. It's tucked away and they hardly mention it in the new release information. And it's a really, really great feature for tracing designs. Probably can use it for other things as well, but that's what it's called, tracing. And I'm going to use it in a couple of tutorials. So this is the first, it's going to be a very basic run through. So first thing to do, just see the tool over here. Now, this could be in a different position depending on your toolbar. You may have edited the toolbar, so it won't be in that position. But I'm going to show you how to get it in the first place. First thing to do, go to Photoshop and Preferences and go down to Technology Previews. And you'll see in there you've got an option Enable Content Aware Tracing Tool. Put that on and then click OK. And then come back into Photoshop again, because it says there, changes will take effect the next time you start Photoshop. So obviously I've got it already, So, but that isn't the end of it. Go down here, and you've got these dots. You need to edit your toolbar, otherwise you just won't see it. So edit toolbar, and by default, it'll be in these extra tools. You'll find it down the bottom, and you'll see Content Aware Tracing Tool. Obviously, you won't find it there. It's, that's where I've just dropped it. But then what you can do, you can simply just drag into the toolbar and you can see it there. Now it's done and you can see it there now. So select it. And now what happens, it traces. But it doesn't trace in the particular way that you think it might. But it traces, hovers. If you hover over, it will create something up, like up here. Now you can create a shape. So if I go over here, I'm just going to just quickly create a shape. You can see a shape there. Now, personally, I don't like the shape, but you might want to use it because you can obviously set the fill to be nothing. Or maybe you have gradients in this as a stroke. Or maybe you want that. Maybe set that to be like that so you can create designs like that. However, in this tutorial, I'm not going to show that. So just going to use the path option. Path is much easier for the trace. So path. And then, of course, you lose all the various the color. But what you can do, hover, but you can set the detail and you can change this. You can also change the tracing mode. Now, I'm going to go just normal. It's detailed and simplified. I think normal is the best. So normal and then just change that. And there's other options, auto trim, align edges, and also, like I say, plus minus. But I'm just going to show in this tutorial just this feature, just the detail. And it really gives you a lot of options there. So just do that. And you can see that what you would get if you applied all of the past. You don't get this. This has to be created by you to get this line. Unfortunately, it doesn't create this automatically for you. It'd be really nice if it did. But I'm just going to go for fairly reasonably like that. And then what I can do, I can hover over. And you can see now I've got more options for lines. Not everywhere. So if I go like there, you think, well, that's not available. But it would be if you increase the detail. It only, Obviously, if you want fine detail, push it up to 100%. If you want just reasonable amount of detail, then do that. So hover, and you'll see this, these dots appear. Click, and you'll get your line appear there. Now, you can obviously apply it elsewhere. But you don't have to. You can if you want. Or you can just go, like, say, hover there, click there. No, you don't. Un don't want that, just control Z, undo. You can hover around there, maybe add some nose there, maybe around the eye, around the lips. And then again, you've got a problem there, so you might want to push the detail up a bit, just a little bit. But again, don't have to have all the other lines, it will only just as you hover, but it doesn't appear, it doesn't, it's not created. So you can just simply create it like that, click there, click there. And you can see I'm just doing this very, very roughly, but you can obviously spend a lot more time going around this whole thing. Just click everywhere where it sort of and you can go maybe that line there and so on. So you can create lines all the way around. Maybe the pipe brow there, and maybe there. Whole range of different positions. And again, if you want, you can always just go to the detail, make it more detail, and just try about that. And you can just keep adding and adding and adding, as well as, of course, removing if you wish as well. So 
So I think that's a reasonable thing. It's gone all the way down there, and you could always go to the fine detail. You can always zoom in, of course, to that. Right, well, you've got your pass, and you can see here, pass, your work pass. Now, what you can do, I'm just going to go to window and pass, and also window and layers, very useful. So you've got layers, you've got your design there. What you can do, you can go to layer and new layer. Now you could apply brush strokes, etc., to this layer, the first layer, the, but I'm going to apply it to a completely blank layer. Now I've got that path selected there, I've got that layer selected, and I'm just going to go over to the brush tool. I'm going to select a brush, one of these brushes, soft round brush, whatever one, you can choose any of them. Just go through them, you can use the other tools, you don't have to use, because there's an option, just going to go here, right side menu, and stroke some up. Oh, Stroke subpath. Now, if you get that stroke subpath, it will only stroke one particular part. Quick way around that is simply go to direct selection tool and just select all of it. So everything selected in that work path. Now, if you go to the thing, it will say stroke path. So there, and stroke path, and you've got brush there. You've got obviously your pencil, razor, art history, and you can see so you can create a variety of different. Things. You've got art history brush, like I say, blur, sharpen, and so on and so on. But I'm going to go with the standard brush because I want to show it. Now I've got black as the color, and then I can click OK, simulate pressure, click OK. So you've got that design. And then, of course, we can do we can always go over here and say, well, I don't want black. Maybe I'll go for red. And well, what you can then do is again go to the brush tool and maybe change brush, maybe make it a bit narrower there. Up to you, you can vary it in numerous ways. You can also change obviously the blending mode opacity, don't have to have it 100%. And then you can go again over here and again stroke pass, and again use brush, and you say you can apply it again there. Now, what you can do, of course, is you can always remove that. So you can see, remove that design. Obviously, you haven't, I've just made it not visible. And you can also deselect the path. And there you have it. So a very, very quick, obviously, trace of a design. So you can see, very quick, trace tool to create that design. Now, I've also created earlier one I was using. This was a 3D design. So you could, what you can do, just a standard, go to custom shape tool. and now I'm just going to get rid of that. Obviously, don't want that there. Where's the history window and history? Go back to the start, and I'm going to create a shape using shape layer. So you can just simply select create shape. Go to uh, let's go to 3D and new 3. Maybe not the best colors. I'm just going to go for there. Maybe no stroke. Oh no, go with stroke, perfectly reasonable. Never research, I always change my mind whether I'm going to do something like that. So 3D, new 3D from extrusion. And you've got your design there. You can see you can write. Unfortunately, this there's some lines that are too faint for it to do. So you, you will not select that line is just not particularly accessible. Might work, might not. However, I don't want to use it as 3D like that. I just want to flatten it. So click OK. So I've got the design there. And again, I can go up to here to the content aware. You can see hover over. Again, you can change the detail. And as you do that, you can see, but again, you can see you cannot access that line along the top. Oh, you can at 100%. Whew. Does occasionally. <laughs> so you've got that. Now, what you can do, you can simply click on there, click on there. Click on there, click on there. And of course, you can change the color as well. Of so, if you want there, you can change the color. So you can maybe go for magenta if you want that, because you might obviously have a blue image or something, and therefore make it very hard to see the line. You can see you can that, or you can obviously select the shadow if you want to select that as well. But you can see the whole design is selected there. And I, I'm just going to add the shadow as well. Why not? So I've got that design. Obviously, I could have created a far more complex uh, 3D design, 
and or maybe imported a 3D design and then done this. So now again, what I can do, I can go to a layer, a new layer. I always like to create a new layer. You can always apply it to the design itself, perfectly reasonable. And then again, go to the brushes, decide which brush you want to use, maybe that one. Of course, there's a variety of other brushes, legacy brushes, default brushes, sorted color there, DP brushes, but I'm just gonna go with that one. Perfectly reasonable. Use black, click OK, and now see work path selected. And then if you go over there, stroke subpath. Again, you can see the problem there. It's, these are only selected there. So way around that, go over here to the direct selection tool and select all of the path. Now, when you go to the path, now, of course, you could select individual parts, apply different brush strokes. Don't have to apply the same brush stroke. So stroke path. Again, use brush. You could use the other ones. and apply it like that. And then of course, when you can go out, you can deselect that and you can see your design there, deselect the brush. So you can see your 3D design, obviously quickly traced like that. And of course you don't have to just, you could go there again, again, select all of it, whole design there is selected and go there or maybe go to the background layer and then go to this and then you can say, that's locked, I won't allow to do that. So pass, then stroke path. So that's the key thing, to make certain that path is accessible, otherwise that just won't work. So just then got that and that, and then go to stroke path and apply brush. And now you can apply again. But maybe this time you can always go and say, uh, use smudge. And it obviously takes a few seconds to process it, and you've got a smudged design using that. And again, what you can do, you can remove that work path, and you can see your design there. So you can create some very uh, interesting sketched designs with a bit of smudge. Maybe you could use artistry, etc., to create some very interesting, unusual designs that way. So, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Photoshop, obviously, Photoshop 221, Illustrator. Affinity Photo, Painter, Critter, and many others. Also, please add some comments. What do you think about this new tool? What things, I mean, I think it's got a lot of potential. So maybe you might see other ways of doing things. How are you gonna use this? I mean, be really interesting to hear that in the comments. Also, dislike or like. Thank you much.